Welcome to this DairyNet video tutorial. In this tutorial, the menu structure of DairyNet will be explained. The menu bar is shown at the top of the application. The DairyNet menu is divided into individual topics. Beside the dashboard and my menu, there are menu items herd, milking reproduction, health, and feeding. When a menu item is selected, the corresponding menu area covers the currently open page. By clicking on the menu item again, the menu area closes. Under the menu item Herd, herd-related information and actions can be found. The menu area is divided into functions regarding a herd overview as well as herd-specific animal actions. The herd overview includes functions such as the cattle list, cattle groups, herd inventory, and booked animal actions. The stock-relevant animal actions include, for example, the sorting command, enter herd, leave herd, as well as the group change. In the application, the color opal green indicates the herd related tiles. For this reason, all tiles in this menu are displayed opal green. The milking menu is divided into three sections. Under overview, all tiles with regards to milking data can be found, such as the list of cows to be milked, the cow monitoring, and the lactation curves. All milking alarms are stored under conspicuities such as the quarter conductivity and cell count alarms. All tiles regarding milking are shown in light green. The tiles for milk recording can also be found under the menu item milking and are displayed in yellow. The reproduction menu contains the repro wheel as well as all reproduction specific activities such as insemination and set dry. Reproduction-related tiles are shown in gray color in the application. Under the menu item Health, health overviews of the herd, such as the list of all animal attentions, can be found. Furthermore, animal actions on the subject of health, such as diagnosis and application, or claw health, can be documented within this menu. Treatment supplies, diagnoses, and measures can also be managed here. Tiles with regards to health are displayed in yellow color. Under the menu item Feeding, among other functions, the feed alarms as well as individual feed report can be called up. In addition, the feed and the feed control plan can be managed within this menu. All feed specific tires are displayed in the color green. The settings menu can be accessed via the three dots at the top right. The settings menu opens on the left hand side and is divided into the following subject areas, administration, company animals, sorting, milking, and feed. This clustering of topics can also be seen by the color coding of the individual tiles. Within this menu, the settings for animal actions, sorting rule sets, feed providers, persons, etc. can be made. The My Menu function allows all users of the application to compile their own menu and thus have access to selected functions. My menu initially must be added to the menu bar before it can be used for the first time. Activation is possible via the menu selection at the top right by using the slider for activate my menu. It is not deactivated again in the same way. My menu automatically appears in the menu bar next to the dashboard. In this example, the menu animal actions has already been created. The small plus symbol in the top line can be used to add further menu areas. The following example shows a menu for the daily work routine. With the help of the pencil symbol at the top right, my menu can be created and edited at any time. A menu area can be named individually and individual tiles can be assigned to it. This can be done by clicking on one of the plus symbols and selecting the desired tile. The tiles can be placed individually to create a user-specific menu structure for daily routines. It is possible to create a clear structure by using different selectable tiles. The waste bucket symbol can be used to delete a tile from my menu. The self-created menu can be saved by clicking on the green tick symbol at the top right. DairyNet offers a notification function. The bell symbol at the top right of the search field can be used to call up current messages in DairyNet. If there are new, unread messages, a yellow mark appears on the icon. 
The number indicates the number of new messages. By clicking on this function, a window with a short information description of the messages and the time of the alarm opens on the right side. The messages can be filtered by specialist only or critical only messages using the respective sliders. By clicking the box behind the individual message, read messages can be confirmed as read. The history of all messages is available in the settings menu so that read messages can be viewed again at any time. DairyNet offers a help function. With the help of descriptive texts, individual functions or parameters of the application are explained. To activate the help function, the question mark in the top bar next to the search field has to be clicked. Functions and parameters for which a help text is stored are highlighted in blue. These help texts can be called upon using the mouse over function. In this example, the help text for the menu item companies is displayed. To leave the help mode again, it has to be deactivated by clicking on the question mark again. The user rights in DairyNet are explained below. Under settings, a separate user account with defined user rights can be created for each person. To do this, the respective person has to be selected and afterwards the tab user account has to be clicked. Initially, a user account with a username and password must be created. The rights to be assigned are displayed. A distinction between whether a user is generally allowed to create and change settings in the application, whether he or she is allowed to create and change user accounts, and whether he or she is allowed to plan and save or book animal actions is made. The desired user rights are marked and finally, the settings have to be saved. This offers the opportunity to define user rights for each user account and to restrict or release the access and editing options on a user-specific basis. This is the end of the video tutorial. If you have any further questions, please contact your local dealer.